good morning youtube welcome back to new vlog welcome back to snowy salt lake city we went from zero snow in the valley to i'd say over a foot a foot at least depending on the snow drift i guess but this is my place here in west valley and uh jade is not too sure about the deep snow she sticks to the trails every now and then she'll jump in the deep snow like she did here earlier but uh, Kate and I are gonna run to my dad's, get the snow blower. Sounds like he already did his driveway. This is the worst snowstorm, or at least the most snow during one storm I've seen in Utah in a long time. These are kind of the winters we were used to. And for a while there, it just kind of became the norm to have snow and it would melt and then snow and it'd melt. But this is by far been the most snow we've, see we've seen in a winter. And if you're following with the Utah stuff, um, because of the snow, they've closed shed hunting till May 1st and all kinds of other stuff is going on in the state. But yeah, it's pretty gnarly winter, but figured I'd open up the vlog and just say hello and who knows where it's going to go this week, but, um, welcome to a new video and let's get shoveling some snow. All right, so I went to get a beard trim. Shout out to the barber. Got another beard trim. We were just shoveling the driveway. I had to leave real quick. And before we started shoveling, I had to help one lady get unstuck and get out of the neighborhood street. Kate just called and said, grab a toe strap. The other neighbor is now stuck in the street. Guys, it's crazy. Like I've got a bunch of video just on my phone. People are stuck everywhere. <laughs> like, I don't know what people think when they drive like a tiny little car close to the road, front wheel drive, poor tires, and they think they're gonna push through some of these two feet snow banks sometimes, or they're literally just getting stuck in like the gutter, but it's pretty wild here in Utah. I don't know who else is getting this the wrath of this storm but salt lake and uh, all the surrounding areas and of course the towns like up in the mountains are just getting dumped on so um just another day just another adventure but today is pretty much dedicated to helping people and just shoveling snow here's a situation just neighborhood road <laughs> i mean that's how bad it is literally everywhere it's deep, so I'm gonna get in front of him and pull him out. But yeah, the roads are just, they're not plowed yet. And it's wild, so here we go. Here we go, shoveled and salted. This driveway and that one. And uh, we got the old hush truck out, the 99 Chevy. I'm gonna go spin that around the block just to get some fuel run through it, but. Ah, uh, man, it feels good. That was a lot of work. Um, also just helping people get unstuck, but this guy right here, this line, that's about as close as you can get to a fresh cut of grass. All right. So nothing too exciting so far on the vlog, most, mostly just dealing with this winter wonderland. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take a ride in the truck and I guess we'll just see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we have made it home. I was actually just out with the guys from Hush filming some stuff for uh, the Hush Life vlog. And Kate got um, Jade a new toy. Let me show you this thing. Hold on, it might turn off and on. So it's like a soccer ball for puppies. This one right here off Amazon, right? Yeah. So it's got some tabs. It gives Jade something to bite on since she obviously can't bite on the ball. 
But she's loving that and having fun. Another news, I just got a box from Mountain Ops. I ordered some stuff and guys, I am thrilled with the new stuff at Mountain Ops. So I got a pair of socks. I got myself a soft shell jacket. Um, let's see, the Battleground hoodie um, in gray and a large. So yeah, the soft shell jacket. I got their big backpack. It's like a travel bag and then a bunch of new supplements, of course. And they gave me some samples. I'm actually excited to try this. This is the Ignite Red Rock Candy. I don't even know what they're, where they're going with Red Rock Candy flavor. I'm not sure. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna try that later, probably tomorrow. But I'm gonna invite you guys to uh, cook dinner with us. Kate has prepped some, let's see, Mule Deer Backstrap. So this is Mule Deer from Idaho on the Hush channel. That was the back-to-back -back hunt, hunt film that included a combo hunt, deer and elk. If you guys haven't seen that, that's over on the Hush channel. But we made a, what did they call it? Honey glazed salmon rice mm -hmm. bowl yep. two nights ago. And I thought it was, yeah, it was in the air fryer. That's kind of the key to this uh, recipe. It was so good. And I was like, hey, we should try the same exact recipe with mule deer. So this is backstrap and it is marinating in honey, some garlic butter herb, the seasonings from Hush. Let me show you. I am going through this stuff like crazy. I think this is the third or fourth container of garlic butter herb. So there's a splash of that. And what else is in there? Olive so, oil, honey, and garlic butter herb. Okay, olive oil, honey, garlic butter herb, all in the uh, Ziploc bag. And the meat is just chunked. So they're like little bite-sized nuggets. We're gonna cook that, throw it over a bed of rice or a bowl of rice with cucumber, avocado, tomato, and a little bit of spicy mayo sauce. So let's get going. First things first, tongs. I've never air fried steak. You know, the rule of thumb with wild game is they always say don't overcook it. We did the salmon on 400 degrees for 10 minutes, didn't we? Okay, there it is. I'm gonna try to spread out the meat to where, you know, it can get the heat all around it. So you don't want a pile of it on any corner. You kind of want to give each piece a little bit of space so it cooks evenly. Okay, this is a recipe that was for sure built for salmon, obviously. Don't know how this is going to come out, but uh, there's only one way to know. Try it. Okay, cucumber, nothing special. I'm just gonna dice some up into little cubes, like so. Make a couple stacks of those, and I think we'll get some avocado too. Snag us some avocado using this big old butcher knife. I showed you guys this on one of my other vlogs. Boom, you know it's ripe when that spins right out. Like so, nice and ripe. Perfect. Okay, so I know what like two-ish tablespoons looks like, so geez. I'm just honestly probably gonna root to, uh, to use the rest of this container. I only put sriracha, but I forgot to put the chili oil in there, so. I actually did it for you. Oh, thank you. You didn't know it, but I put that in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a splash in there. Put some hot chili sauce. It's probably Line like a up. tablespoon. You got the secret sauce right there. Come here, Jake, come here. She's scared of the tripod. She is drooling. You're making a mess, Jade. Look at that big drool. Oh, gosh. That's how much she wants the food. That's how good it's going to be, you guys. Okay, let me show you guys. That's probably eight minutes. A little crispy on the top. With some of that honey glaze. I'm going to serve it over the rice. Add the sides. With a little spicy mayo. Let's see how it is. All right, we're gonna add some cucumber. 
avocado. Again, if it's ripe, it should really just scoop right out of there. We'll just kind of set that aside for now. Honey glazed deer. Never had that. Mayo. I mean, it really is like a steak poke bowl. Deer steak poke bowl, which never had, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, I'm going for the first bite. Kate says. I snuck one already. It's so freaking of the meat? good. Oh my God, yes. Okay, I'm gonna have, I got a little meat, avocado, a couple things of rice. It's so good. It's like sweet and juicy, mm -hmm. but like the outsides are caramel, like caramelized a little bit. Oh my God. You won't regret it. So that's what I noticed with the salmon. It was my first time doing salmon in the air fryer. And the way that the honey glazed kind of cooked over and caramelized, the outside made it super good. So that's extremely good guys. Such an easy recipe. Something you can do at home with your wild game. This is using the Hush garlic butter herb spices. We sell them on the website, gethushin.com. We also have a six pack. You can basically get every single flavor we offer um, and save a little money if you buy all of them at once. So take a good look at that. Masterpiece. But I am trying to eat really clean and change my eating habits. Because the last few months I've basically been gorging myself with junk food and milkshakes down like, I don't know, three or four, maybe even five pounds already. But meals like this is what's gonna get me there. Even with the honey and the mayo, I actually just try to focus on one portion control and two eating home cooked meals. This is a good one. I'm excited to dive into that. morning guys it's like 5 a.m. and I am headed to the gym not because I want to necessarily at this time anyways but because I cannot sleep so I am going to attempt to film a little more in the gym than I I would have ever to this point anyways a few people comment that they want to see more fitness stuff on the channel uh, so I'm going to try to actually just run you through my chest workout today, which is pretty weak because my shoulder has been injured and not feeling so good. But we're going to Butler Pro Gym. We're going to hit chest. I've got this little tripod. So I'm going to be that guy at the gym that's toting around a little bit of a tripod, trying to get some shots for you guys. But we'll just see how it goes. And uh, on that topic, um, I'd love to hear from you guys. What exactly would you like to see on this channel? As you know, it's more of a vlog channel, more of like the daily stuff as all my hunting and shed hunting and adventures really land up, really live on the Hushin channel. So this is just kind of a vlog channel, but what would you guys like to see on here? Please let me know, even as a content creator, I'm just kind of stumped lately. And trust me, I know I'm overthinking a lot of stuff when it comes to social media and content. I always tell people you gotta dumb it down and just put out, you know, vlog style stuff put out what you're passionate about etc so i get that but coming from you guys please let me know what would you like to see more on this channel or what can i do better put it in the comments let's go hit the gym all right guys just getting warmed up on chest i'm at the butler pro gym one thing i like about this gym is all this old hammer strength equipment like this guy this is kind of like a plate loaded bench press and it's it's single arm, so you can do one at a time or you can do both at a time. But today I'm going to do a lot of uh, single arm movements because my left shoulder is kind of weak. So I want each side to get the same workout. So I'm doing hammer strength presses. I'll be moving to that hammer strength machine. And after that, 
I'll be moving to this, which is a really steep incline hammer strength, upper chest and some shoulders, obviously. Clearly you're gonna get a secondary movement. Uh, you're gonna get shoulders on pretty much any bench press movement. So I'm gonna focus on this right now. There is music playing in here. So if it seems kind of choppy, it's probably because I'm trying to avoid like music copyright. But uh, let's get after it, man. Let's hit chest. All right, we just got done with the first one. Um, added some weight, starting to get heavy, feel pretty good. I'm not sure how these 35s will be, but this is incline. So uh, you'll see when I set this thing back, it's a pretty steep incline, great for the upper chest. So uh, we're gonna start here. I'm just doing sets of 10 and I'm just trying to maintain really good control throughout the entire rip. So nice and slow on the negative, solid push forward, holding it and then repeat. Okay, taking a rest uh, from presses and I'm gonna do chest flies. So this free motion cables, basically the one I have in my house. So I've got them about shoulder height. I need to lower this one. We're just gonna do some cable flies, kind of mix up all the presses and then I'm gonna jump back into the really steep incline presses. But yeah, here we go, cable flies. These are killer. Get back down in front of your head. 